Hey guys, so today I'm going to be testing out this poly gel kit. This is from the brand, I'm not completely sure how to say the name, I think it's McCart. I had seen Long Hair Pretty Nails test out this kit and I commented on one of her posts saying I like the nails and the brand reached out to me and was like, do you want the kit? So I was like, yeah, why not? And uh, here we are. I thought they were just going to send the kit, but they sent the kit. They sent a light. Look how pretty it is. It's pink. They sent some decorating kits, so I have a bunch of different stuff to try out. But today, we're going to be using this poly gel with some dual forms. In this kit, you get the poly gel, you get a file, a top and base coat, the brush, and some forms in case you don't want to do the dual forms. Truthfully, this is going to actually be my second set using these poly gels because I did not like the first. The first ones I did, I just didn't really love, so I wanted to do a different set. The first ones I was calling Cursed Skittles, and I think that's a pretty good name. But I'm not going to keep on talking too much. Let's just get right into using this kit. So first off, we're going to start off with the base coat. I was actually really pleasantly surprised with the base and top coat in this set. It is really, really good quality and they're sort of thin, but they still fill in a lot of the gaps. And usually most base and top coats are kind of all the same to me, but these ones actually stood out. Now I'm just going to cure those. So today I am going to be using the dual forms. You guys know I definitely don't use these super often just because they don't really fit my nails super great a lot of the time but these ones might be different so we're gonna give them a try so i'm just going to size out these before i do anything if i can pick it up perfect i feel like i have done so many sets of nails i kind of can just eye which ones are gonna fit at this point pretty good at it my point and my ring finger are always the same size so I always just use the same form for them because I don't need to waste another one. You can definitely reuse these. I wouldn't reuse them more than a couple times just because at that point they might kind of gross but you can definitely use the same ones for the same set or for each hand. So I don't know how I'm going to avoid the cursed Skittles look, honestly, because I only want to use what I have here. I don't want to use another brand's poly gel, and this is the only poly gel set I have from this brand. So I could just do one straight color for each one. I'm not entirely sure. So let's quickly go through the colors that you get in this kit. You get a red, which is definitely like a true deep red. Pretty much all of the colors in this kit are pretty deep and bright. Then you get an orange, a yellow, which can almost maybe look like a neon neon green. And then you do get a little bit of a deeper green. You get a blue and then an indigo, which is definitely like just a dark, dark blue. And then you get a violet, which, which I do wish was a little bit lighter. This is sort of a weird color of purple, in my opinion. I think a little bit of a brighter purple would have been a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. But we're just going to take this red and I'm just going to do a full nail of this starting out. So I'm going to start by grabbing some on here. And we're gonna put this in the form. I'm gonna try to do these ones fairly long. That might have been a little too much. But then I do have a little container here of rubbing alcohol that we are going to use to push around this poly gel. I'm gonna try to do these almost at like full length. However, that was definitely a little bit too much. I'm just gonna scrape a little bit off. So now that I have that set up, I'm just going to push this on my nail and just sort of align it like that. And I'll do just a little bit of cleaning up while I'm at it. And then I'm gonna stick it in the light. Now that that's done, we're going to pop it off. And here it is. Oh, wow. That actually looks so good. And look how long it is. Here is from the side. Wow, okay, that actually looks like perfectly shaped almost already. So let's move on to the next nail. The next nail I think we'll do some orange and some yellow. So we're gonna do an ombre for this one and 
When doing that, we're going to start off with the yellow and we are going to do the ombre part here and cure that before we do anything else. So you guys know I actually totally prefer to just squeeze this on directly. I feel like that honestly is a lot easier for me and it helps me gauge how much I need a lot better than squeezing it on the spatula. Here we go. That is a bright yellow. It almost looks like fluorescent. So this is a kit you can just get off of Amazon. I will link it below. And then for this right now, I'm just trying to fade it down as best as I can so that some of the orange can sort of go through and make it look like an ombre. I'm actually really, really impressed with this kit. I have no idea how they were able to do these colored poly gels and actually make them curable. If you've ever tried to do a completely white poly gel nail, you'll know that it is really difficult to do super opaque colors with poly gel because it doesn't cure on the inside. It creates weird little bubble on the inside and if you like squeeze it, it'll like push out. It's really weird. And using it again, I haven't had that problem at all and these are some pretty opaque like intense colors so I have no idea how they did it but I honestly am really impressed. All right, so now I'm gonna squeeze some of this orange. Honestly, these nails so far are just reminding me of some hot Cheetos. Do you guys know how long it's been since I've had hot Cheetos? I don't think I've had them since I've moved. So like six months, it's been a good while. Okay, so I have this ombre sunset action going on here and I'm gonna just put this on this nail, push down a little bit and we'll cure this. For these, I'm not really having the issue of them not staying down on my nail once I've set them. Like I'm actually able to clean them up before I cure them. It's really nice. I would say my biggest complaint with this kit, all this is actually quite sticky. It doesn't really work that well with rubbing alcohol. I have not tried it with monomer because I don't feel like my house smelling up right now. A lot more stickier than other poly gels. Next, I think we're just going to do the whole rainbow and we'll do some green, just a full green on this one. This green is so bright too, it's definitely like a neon. It is super easy when you just do one color. If you're having trouble getting a poly gel to stick, you might be using too much of the slip solution. Okay, that one doesn't look like it needs any cleaning up, so right into the light it goes. Popping these off is honestly like my favorite part. I realized I accidentally used this form for this finger, so this one's a little bulky. I'll have to just clean that up with some filing. This was the one I was supposed to use for it. So with the blue, I think we should do an ombre. We will do the two different blues and then just for the thumb, we will just do the violet. Probably will look better if the light blue is on the top. My hands are so sticky. I hate it. Why do I feel like I'm not strong enough to squeeze these out? What's wrong with me? All right, and then same deal as we did with the yellow. Some nice ombre action, hopefully. We just need a tiny bit of that. Perfect. This one's gonna be a little bit more of like a subtle ombre, but there we go. Okay, so that one's all cured. Pretty. I love that these ones are actually a little bit longer than I normally am able to do and they're feeling pretty sturdy too. They don't feel like they're gonna break. Okay, so last but not least, let's just do the thumb. Now this is the violet. Do you see what I mean about this color? Like it's just, I don't know. It's not my favorite purple. Okay, so last one. Perfect, I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. And 
stick it in the light. All right, so now I'm gonna pop this last one off. Love it. All right, so here are the nails. I like this set so much better already. <laughs> More like rainbow and not cursed Skittles. So now it is time to shape these. I want them pretty much more or less this almost coffin, more like a tapered square shape. So I'm not going to file them all very much. You don't need much filing on this top because it is already smooth. That's one of the things about poly gel and dual forms that is really great is that you don't really need to worry about smoothing out the top. Poly gel also files super, super easily. So you are not going to spend probably more than five to 10 minutes doing filing, even if you are really messy with it. Poly gel is just super, super soft. Next, we're just going to top coat these. You can buff off the surface if you are worried about the top coat peeling off, but I'm not super worried about with these. Again, that is the really nice thing with poly gel is it's already smooth, so you really don't have to put that much work into having them look nice and polished. I really love this top coat. It is so, it's so thin, but I don't know. There's just something about it. I really like it. All right, and then into the light. And I also have this rhinestone art set from them. And it comes with these glitters, the rhinestones, and this gel to adhere everything with. It also comes with like a brush and dot tool. So we're going to use the stones. And oh my god, I did not even realize there's some bigger ones under here. Look at how big these are and they're so pretty. I don't think these will work for this set, but you guys know I'll definitely use these in an upcoming set. So I'm just going to use the dotting tool with this gel to put where we want to put the stones. So I want to do sort of a like cuticle wrapping thing like I always do. And the nice thing about instead of using nail glue is it gives you time to set everything before it dries. Okay, so I'm gonna cure that really quick. Now we're pretty much gonna do that for most of the nails, except one of them. Okay, and then for this nail, I'm going to do some all over, but kind of in a specific pattern. Then I'm just gonna put some cuticle oil on really quick. And here are the finished nails. I actually love this set so much more than the previous one, which just goes to show that just because you put in more work for something doesn't mean it's gonna turn out better. I'm still so surprised that they're able to cure all the way through and still be opaque and colorful. I know it's not like in the rainbow technically, but I really would have loved an added like hot pink color. I think that would have totally completed this kit but i do love how these turned out regardless and i really do like the rhinestone kit as well this gel is so strong one of these rhinestones accidentally like slid out of place and i cured it and i could not get it off i had to go get my clippers to get it off up close action here so that is pretty much it i feel like these are feeling really really good they're not feeling flimsy or like they're going to break at all they're feeling really really strong actually which does not happen often with these dual forms a lot of the time i always feel like there's a weak spot but i don't 
feel those with these. I can, I'm like even trying to snap it and it's not going. But that is all I have for you guys today. Please make sure to give this video a like. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out a lot. And that is all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.